Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And ever since I was a kid, I've always liked these flashing lights. I don't know why, but I just have. So these are a pair of Interplex Mavericks. And this one, the solar panel actually got completely trashed. This one is intact. Um, those are the batteries out of them. The, the problem is it appears as if neither one of those batteries will take a charge anymore. What I'm doing is there's the solar panel and there's the voltage I'm getting off of it. So if I had to guess, and you know, the sun's kind of behind the clouds right now, but I'm, I'm figuring it should be good. So for somewhere around four volts, which means it would take like three NICAD batteries. Each NICAD battery is good for about 1.2 volts, I think. So now I'm looking for a source of Nikon batteries because I would actually like to bring these back to life, particularly this one. This one's nice and intact. So I'm thinking I want to bring back this Interplex Maverick as cheaply as possible and I need batteries and that one needs a solar panel and batteries. So I happened to be at the Dollar Tree and I was looking at these tent lights. And I don't know if you guys have ever taken a minute to take these apart. If you take those two screws out, it's actually kind of sophisticated. You got a battery in here, a circuit, and a solar cell on top. And you also have a um, LED light underneath, right? So with that, I took the solar cell and I'm measuring the voltage. And you guys could see I'm getting about two and a half volts. This thing gets about 3.8. So I'm thinking that if I put two of these NICAD batteries into this thing, the solar panel will charge it. And then once it gets dark, the lights will go flashy flash. Because inside of this, if you took this panel off, there's just an LED, a flashing LED on this side and one on the other side. There's just one on each side, so they must be pretty bright. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Let's see what happens. So I put two batteries in series and I hooked them up to the solar panel. And you can see with the sun on the solar panel, I'm getting about 52 milliamps. And when I put my hand over the solar panel, it goes to nothing and my hands back off. So it appears as if they are charging. So the next question is, and I think I'm going to have to bring it inside to determine this, if it'll light up once we take the sunlight off of it. So I put two batteries into it and you can see the solar cell there and the sun shining on it. And I'm getting, I don't know, what is that? 30 something milliamps. So that was the first thing I wanted to do is make sure that this piece of junk was actually charging. And the second thing, oh, look at that. We're up to uh, 50, almost 60 milliamps in direct sunlight. 65 milliamps in direct sunlight. So that's the first thing I wanted to do. Let me show you the second. And this is the second thing I wanted. I wanted to get it flashing and it's doing that also. It's actually pretty bright. So for the cost of uh, this one, this, the uh, solar panel was intact. So it cost me two bucks for the solar lights, $2.17 with tax. And this guy was about five bucks. So you put it all together and I have something pretty cool. I'll be able to, uh, to sit that on, on the uh, patio and let it flash away. And it's free. It'll, um, now that it's uh, solar paneled, it'll just sit there and do, do its own thing for me. I think it's really pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think. Some experiments with uh, Dollar Tree solar panels, kind of hacking them, hacking this uh, construction flasher, you know, just some fun stuff. So once again, let me know what you think. I want you all to keep your feet down, your heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now. So here is the second light, and this is the one that had the dead solar panel. And I put two solar panels there. And you could see I'm charging at about 27 milliamps, which is pretty good. If you mess around with them, you could get a little more than 27. 
like there's thir close to 30 and if uh, let's see if it works once we disconnect them and bring it inside and then we go the second one works also and it charges so for uh, four dollars worth of Dollar Tree solar lamps you know garden path lighting solar lamps and I don't know about nine dollars worth of um, these inter interplex uh, mavericks we're able to put together a couple of flashing amusing lights and once again these will flash basically all summer all winter according to the literature they only need like um, a couple of hours of sunlight per few days even a, a cloudy day is enough to charge them enough to to last um, for several days that's with the solar panels they provided I'm sure these <laughs> Dollar Tree solar panels aren't nearly as good so anyway a little distraction video I hope you guys enjoyed it I had some fun. I, I do like playing with electronics from time to time. I want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up, and go out hack something that you find at Dollar Tree today. Bye now.